Hi everyone, Jesus here again. Got some your prayers. If you haven't sent one in before, just put one in the comments section. Bear in mind that while I do read them all, I don't get to answer them all personally. I am only one man. Or am I? No, I am actually three, technically. First letter comes in today from Braden. Braden Spaketh. Dear Jesus, my dad says you're not real. Well, Braden, my dad says you now have three days left to enjoy life. Quick little lesson for anybody out there. John 3.36 Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. You know what, Braden? Your dad can live because I appreciate his gumption. And if history's taught us nothing else, it's that I'm fickle. Next prayer. Dear Mr. Christ, my name's Jenny. I'm 26 years old and I'm having trouble with my new tenant. He's always behind in the rent. He never cleans up and he's always having people around. He's a total pain in the ass. What should I do with love, Jenny? P.S. Loving the beard. But I think you should cut it short like Bradley Cooper in Silver Linings Playbook. He's such a babe. Well, Jenny, thanks for the poorly written and whiny prayer with a backhanded compliment. You certainly know how to make a crucifixion feel fucking wonderful by comparison. Do you know how long it took me to grow this thing? Biblically, not looking good. First mistake, rented a room to a man. Timothy 2.12 I do not permit a woman to teach or have authority over a man. Didn't pick up on that one in Sunday school, did you, Jenny? Did you just pop off a quick prayer while you're on your period? Well, if you took some time out from eye humping Bradley fucking Cooper, you'd have noticed all the wonderful equality that dad and I have tried to build over the last thousand years. Number two, the rent. Money, Jenny, money. Once again, Timothy's got you, 610. For the love of money is the root of all evils. Holy shit, Jenny. So far, you're royal fucked. I hope you like Hangover 2, because that's what they play on a loop in solitary confinement in hell. I know which I'd rather endure. Next, the washing up. Does that bother you, Jenny? Well, tough shit. Romans 14, 14. I know and I am persuaded by the Lord Jesus that nothing is unclean in itself, but it is unclean for anyone who thinks it is unclean. Want to know what I get out of that sentence, which, which I wrote? Is that if you have problem with the dishes, you clean them. You know what? Try washing away the sins of an entire civilization, and then you can come and talk to me about what needs cleaning. You goddamn self-righteous bitch. What's next? Oh, that's right. He likes having people over, doesn't he? That's a big issue for you, isn't it, you sociopathic loner? Well, guess what, Jenny? Better spread them and grit your teeth because the next one's going in dry. Acts 28.30 For two whole years, Paul stayed there in his own rented house and welcomed all who came to see him. Wait, can you hear that, Jenny? Is that... Is that nothing? That's the sound of all the fucks I give. Oh, and as for your silver linings fucking precious Bradley Cooper bullshit, got good news on that front as well. Remember when he hits his dad, played by Robert De Niro? Well, Exodus 21.15 And he that smiteth his father or his mother shall be surely put to death. So lucky you, Jenny. As you descend into hell through the burning fire and your flesh is flying off, and then they gut you, and then they start violating your orifices, then you can look up and see perhaps the beneficent smiling features of Bradley Cooper as some howling banshee desecrates his anus from behind. In conclusion, go eat a whole bag of dicks, Jenny. Love your inadequately bearded friend, Jesus. Last one. Dearest Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Suck up. I pray that you watch over me in my time of need and absolve me of my skin. Reasonably sure that's supposed to say sin. But there's 13 things I can't stand. 10 we did in a previous video. On top of that there is people who don't proofread, suck ups, and the word absolve. So you know what? Prayer answered. Skin's gone! Oh, it's a miracle! That's nearly it for the week. Um, just go to the book review. Um, thanks, Paul. Uh, as suggested by Cyril from the comments last week, The Devil's Notebook by Anton Sanzo LaVey. Uh, pretty quick read. Uh, knocked that one off in the bog. Um, liked the first half. Second half gets a little preachy. And we all know how I feel about that. So, two stars, a triumph. 
Uh, any comments, prayers, subscriptions? Don't forget to subscribe. Wherever that is. Um, comments, go underneath. And uh, yeah, see you in three days. Thank you.